Dear Connor, that's me. This video is addressed to me, myself. This isn't going to be a typical love letter that you maybe have read about in books or seen in movies. It's going to be a little bit different, right? You would describe yourself as a hopeless romantic, and I'm just going to tell you right now, stop doing that. That's not working for you. It's not. You are a lonely person. You're very aware of how lonely you are, and you let this fact upset you a lot. And whether you like it or not, it has led you to think that because you are a good person and that you work hard, that you maybe deserve a little bit better than that. And maybe you do deserve better than that, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen. And you know this fact, but sometimes you, f you don't act like you know it. Just saying. You have a track record over the past two years of jumping at every opportunity that comes to you in the form of a person who shows even the slightest interest in you. You fall for the idea of this person and then you get hurt, right? Once again, that's not working for you. It's not. I can understand your frustrations. Trust me, I can, because I'm you. But you gotta stop with this, the world is punishing me act. You gotta stop it. You're a human being. You've made your mistakes. You have done things in your past that have hurt people. Absolutely. But the world is not punishing you for that because the world does not keep score like that. You silly little child. You are not being punished for your past mistakes. You are not being deprived of an exciting life because of the life that you led three years ago. That's absurd to think and you gotta stop doing it. Even though you're not doing it on purpose, I know, but it's there. It's inside of you. You gotta flush that out your system, friend, because it's clogging everything up making it ugly. You're probably listening to this love letter to yourself like, I don't feel a lot of love, I feel a lot of tough talk, and honestly, I'm feeling pretty attacked right now. That was on purpose, because you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna flip the script. <laughs> you know what, friend? You are deserving of love. You are deserving of happiness. You are deserving of a great life, right? You are deserving of that simply because you are living a life and everyone deserves that. You try not to do the bare minimum. You try to genuinely care about the people in your life. You try to do good things for other people around you. You make lives better. People who don't even know you and you don't even know. You make lives better. And that sounds like a narcissistic thing for me to say to you, given that we're both me and we're talking about me, but it's a fact, it is a fact. Whether you care to admit it or not, you are doing the work and you are trying to be a good person. And that is something that is an objective fact. You can't even argue against me with that. Trust me, I've tried every angle. You are not a selfish person, you're not. You're a good person. And people are seeing that. People talk to you in your life now and they get excited. They ask, what is Connor doing? And they get excited about that. And you need to stop feeling like they're judging you or that they hate you because they don't hate you. They don't. You need to stop calling yourself unlucky because you are so lucky. You are so incredibly lucky that the path that you're on is the path that you're on. It could be way worse. And in fact, it's kind of beautiful. I know it's not perfect. I know it's not glamorous. I know it's kind of lame at times, but it's your path. It is your story. It's our story. And it's going pretty well so far. You are incredibly insecure with how other people look at you and what other people may or may not think about you. And you need to work on that because this leads to you getting hurt all the time. Like I said before, you have a tendency to obsess and get yourself so involved with people who show the slightest inkling of caring about you. You get so involved with these people so early, you fall in love with the idea of them. And that's not love, friend. That's not. You're lying to yourself. And I think I figured out why we do this. It's because deep down, whether we like it or not, we believe that we are not worthy of other people's love and that no one will really truly ever love us as we are. Us, of course, again, being me. Right, this is just re reiterating that. But you know what? We gotta change that because our record of uh, making people a priority who don't make us a priority leaves us hurt and battered and bruised all the time. And that's not something that we should do anymore. So while you're chilling in the past, past Connor, uh, present you, me, is gonna start doing things a little bit differently. You're gonna start taking the bad with the good, not letting it destroy you, continuing to just move forward and make good things and build good things and just be you. You're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna make sure you're getting what you need in your life, to yourself, the world around you, but most importantly in your relationships because that's something that you haven't really focused on. I don't think you're ever gonna stop being a giver and uh, loving hard and falling harder. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna stop. I think that's something that is in our nature. But hopefully from now and into the future, uh, you and me, the two of us, well really just me, uh, I'm gonna start believing that I'm worthy of the good things that happened to me. I'm gonna stop looking at the world like I owe it some debt from uh, past injustices that I have committed to it, and I'm gonna try and just enjoy the things that I have 
and love the things that I have. I'll be checking in. Sincerely, or should I say love, Connor. Cut. Yeah, I got a Twitter, I got a Tumblr, I got an Instagram you could follow. It's in the description down there. You can click it. You can click it. I make videos every Monday and Friday. Yeah, I do. You can sub to my videos and watch them all the time. Yeah.